my daddy, Marion Wilson, was a very kind-hearted, gentle person. He's always been the type of daddy who just wants the best for his family, his child, and the best for himself, honestly. I don't understand why people feel the need to do certain things. I mean, although I do understand the circumstances of what's going on and everything like that, like everybody is having their emotions going on right now. And my daddy is just very loving. He doesn't have a harmful bone in his body. And if he's anything like me, he's goofy. He loves to play jokes. He likes to have fun. Just He's just a, a very uplifting person. He loves to help people. I love to help people. He likes to make people smile. Like he lights up the room when like when when we come and see him. He's he's very heart heartwarming. I don't understand why these people are doing this, but I don't have no words to explain how me and my family feels because now there are three, not one, but three families that are hurting right now, all because of this. Jesus has the last say so. He has the last say so, not this other stuff. God has the last say so. And I'm holding on to him as much as I can right now because this is not right. It is not right. I understand the circumstances of what happened and how true. I truly am sorry. I'm so sorry. He did it. He didn't. He did it. And now I'm hurting. And now my grandmother is hurting. How you think that makes me feel? And I understand and I apologize on his end. I really do. But this is not right. Something has to stop. This has to change. The 1,500 person, this is not right. That's too many people. My daddy is going to heaven and I know that. And I love him deeply from the bottom of my heart. And I want everyone to know that he's not gone anywhere because he's still here with us in spirit. I don't know if he'll ever see this, but I love you. I love you so much. And I'm gonna miss you so much, daddy. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss your hug, your laugh, your touch, your sense, the feel of your hand on mine and your lamb, you calling me your lamb chop. I'm gonna miss all of that. Cause it's bad enough that I didn't get a chance to be out. He didn't get a chance to be with me out here because he's been away for so long, for 23 years and I'm 23 now. I'm gonna miss him dearly. This is not fair. What am I supposed to do? But he's going to be okay. God got him. And I just pray that no one else does not have to go through this ever again. Because these executions are getting out of hand.